Today I want to talk about a problem that really can terribly interfere with people's lives and on top of that can be very embarrassing and that's sweaty feet. So uh, if you have sweaty feet you might feel sweat all along the bottom. No matter what you do the foot is always moist or damp. Now if it's a mild case there are a number of home treatments that work quite well. If you go to our website and just do a search for sweaty feet you'll find the best home treatments there. But if those don't work, there are a number of much more aggressive treatments that, that work in a majority of cases. So there's really four things that you can do. I, I think really only three are worth considering, but we'll go through all of those. The first one is prescription grade antiperspirants. And these, these medications are two to three times stronger than those antiperspirants you buy over the counter. So they're very worth trying and they work for a lot of people with severe sweating, also called hyperhidrosis. The second treatment is a, is a treatment called iontophoresis. In this treatment you have two containers of water, you have a unit that creates an electrical current and a light electric current goes through that water and cha does changes in the foot. Now um, it's not actually clear exactly how this works. There's some thought that a combination between the electricity and the, the minerals in the tap water actually cause some thickening of the skin and that blocks the sweat ducts and, and prevents the sweating. But it works well. It's been around for about 60 years. There's a lot of studies behind it. Uh, this is something that's prescription only. So we would write you a prescription to purchase a unit. Sometimes it's covered by insurance, but, but often not. You buy it directly from the manufacturer. They run about $700. But again, it, it's, uh, it's very conservative. There's no potential downsides or at least no complications and it works for a majority of patients. The third way to treat it are injections of Botox and, and this actually works quite well to limit the sweating. The problem with, with it is you have to do multiple injections in the bottom of the foot. They're a little bit painful and they um, only last for three to four months. So it's not a great treatment but if, if, uh, you're, if nothing else works and you're willing to go through that every three to four months it's fine. Finally, there is a surgery that can be done. It's done by a thoracic surgeon. It's called a sympathectomy where they go in and do a surgery to interrupt the connection between the nerves and basically between the nerves and the sweat ducts. Um, the upside is it works fairly well in some patients, but while it works very well for people with sweating of their palms, it hasn't been shown to be nearly as effective for people with sweating of the feet. And there's also some really pretty serious uh, potential side effects. We don't really like that treatment. It's just a very, very last resort. Again, for more detailed information on everything I've just gone over, go to, our, go to our website, do a search for sweaty feet, and we have a whole guide on how you can best treat this problem.